Hey everyone, this is Adgris coming back with another new video. So in this video, we have to talk about how we can boot GSI ROM in any Android device. By this method, you can easily boot any operating system in your device. Without PC and without root, you can do this process. And if you want to like this type of content, then make sure you like this video and subscribe this channel. GSI means a uh, generic system image. It's made for uh, any Android device you can easily boot and it's work on uh, Android 9 or Android 9 or above, okay? You easily can boot in your device. Let's begin the video. First, you need to open your Android phone settings and click in my device section and you can see or make sure your device currently running on Android 9 or above. After that, you need to simply enable here developer option. Simply click on system version or build number 5 to 7 times. After that, developer option will be enabled. Okay. After that, you need to simply open here developer option. Also, you can see our DSU loader also available by default. You also can boot boot GSI ROM in any Android device. Okay. You can see our two GSI package available here. You simply download and you can simply boot here okay for boot any third party gsi simply you need to uh, download here at some applications and also download a uh, gsi image file i already download gsi image file or uh, you can see here it's a uh, fly me me too. fly me os okay after that you need to download here some applications so first applications name is uh, dsu loader okay, apk okay it's size of uh, prox uh, 5 to 7 mb maximum to maximum okay you need to simply download from f droid you can see here its icon dsu loader okay simply scroll down and you need to uh, down you can see here its size is approx 5 mb you need to download this application in your device after that another application's name is Shijuku application i will also provide the download link on my telegram you can easily download from there and also you can join my telegram for uh, latest updated and also i always provide my download link on my telegram you can easily direct download from there also you can download this both application from play store Okay, you can see here its icon Shijuku and first application is DSU Loader. First download both application in your device and make sure uh, like this video and subscribe this channel for this type of content. Also you can explore my uh, YouTube channel and watch other video. Okay, simply download this application first. And watch video carefully if you want to uh, install or boot any gsi room in your device after that install this cgq application and other another applications you can download here a uh, jet archiver for extracting a uh, jet file to image file okay after that you need to uh, if your gsi room in zip file you need to extract out its uh, image file you can see here you also can extract and also can click on view okay simply i can simply click on view after that open this folder folder okay you can see our uh, it's a image file appear, appear here simply you need to uh, copy this image file in your device in another folder you can see our i simply extract out this image file from jdip file Okay, you can see here in zip file or inside our image file available here simply i extract out this image file in my device after that simply open this cgpu application in your device then you need to simply click on pairing before you need to uh, open settings or uh, developer option you also can uh, enable developer option by typing build number or system version 5 to 7 times after that uh, open developer option you also can search a developer option in search bar after that enable here uh, wireless debugging and usb debugging
then after that simply click on pairing after that simply click on notifications option and enable this permission allow notifications okay after that this type of page appears simply click on developer options or you can manually open uh, manually open developer option here okay after that you need to simply enable your usb debugging first and after that you need to uh, enable your wireless debugging okay simply i enable your wireless debugging okay you can see here i already enable this feature after that simply click on pair device with pairing code After that, this type of notification appears. In your case, notification app not appears. Simply restart your Shizuku applications, and after that, open Shizuku and click on pairing. Okay. After that, you will redirect to developer options, and after that, this type of notification show here. Okay. You need to simply uh, put this code in your uh, notifications. Okay. After that, simply click on uh, this type of send option appears here. If you not find send option, you can uh, back this video five to. 10 second and you can notice my thumb okay after that simply open your cgq applications then simply click on back after that simply click on start button then click on developer option and you need to simply uh restart the wireless uh, debugging option simply uh, disable this uh, toggle and after that simply enable wireless debugging okay then after that simply click on start and it will started and connected with your uh, cgq applications okay cgq is running it means uh, it successfully connected and simply click on authorize one applications and you need to simply uh, enable dsu loader and then enable uh, dsu loader in your device okay after that you need to simply click on grant if you first time open uh, some permissions uh, it asked you need to simply allow all permission to dsu loader after that you can see here in uh, opera operation mode cgq application selected you can after that you can easily boot gsi room in your device simply click on select a file after that select your image file of gsi room then click on install you can see here user user data okay okay also you can uh, type manually here user data according to your choice simply i put here user data approx 15 gb after that you also can uh, put same user data okay after that simply click on install it will uh, preparing installing file it will take about a uh, 5 to 10 minutes for installing and preparing simply wait here after completing simply click on try again then simply put your uh, screen lock password after that simply click on allow once time access and simply wait here it take about of uh, 5 to 7 minutes in maximum to maximum open your notifications and simply wait here wait for completing this circle okay after completing simply click on restart after click on restart you will uh, redirect to your gsi room your data will be not formatted in this case if gsi not supported your device it will uh, automatic boot in your main system and you also can uh, try another gsi if not booted any other gsi okay if you booted this gsi and want to uh, come back with your main android system simply are uh, 
So you start your Android device. After that, you will uh, boot it in your main Android system. And first boot it time it's uh, take about a uh, five to ten minute. You can simply wait here. After that, you can see our uh, it's off. Uh, Limeos booted in my device. Okay, simply I booted this off uh, Limeos GSI room by forcefully. Simply I flash uh, some file in our TWRP recovery. After that, it's this room booted in my device. Simply I flash your permissible vendor boot image. After that, it will boot it in my device. You also can uh, flash permissible uh, vendor boot image. If your device having uh, installed TWRP recovery, you can uh, boot in your device. Thanks for watching.